So I took another trip down to Hardoff today because I needed to find myself a nice little amp. But of course while I'm there I may as well take a look at the game section. So we've got a couple of new things since my, since the last visit. We've got Mario Maker there and Splatoon for the Wii U. All those PSPs are still there. A couple of nice uh, colour ones down there, green and a yellow DS, very nice. And some nice PC Engine FX controllers. Around the side, yep, we've still got all those PS3s and PS2s and a couple of Xbox 360s. As you know, this is the junk section, but most of these things just worked fine. A couple of PS2 Slims there. Nice Sega Saturn as well, a couple of Super Famicoms. Oh, a nice white Sega Saturn. Two of them. You can see my son there. <laughs> So anyway, as I said, I came to Hard Off today with the main intention of buying an amplifier. Now, I didn't want anything too big, unlike this Luxman M5 here. Now, this is one sexy amp. But um, yeah, it's way beyond my price range. Got a nice Pioneer NN50 digital music player there as well. And a Denon CD player, it's pretty big actually. Now I was looking for something a little smaller than these full size amps because I had to put it in a small space but um, you may as well take a look at the good stuff while you can. Ah there's a Pioneer HTP SB550 there, nice cinema amp. And then just <laughs> check out those bad boy Technic speakers. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> now there are some speakers they are. Oh, we got a Yamaha DSPR795. I had one of those a while back. And a very nice Pioneer CLD919. Place this player there and a TX twin tape deck. But um, nothing compares to this lovely Nakamichi. Couple little Denon and Onkyo amps there. Now they're kind of the size I'm looking for to be honest. There's a nice Toa preamp as well, that's a TA2030. And um, let's see what we've got up here. We've got quite a few nice tape decks in this uh, shop today. Here we go, it's a pretty decent tape deck for the price. This is a Yamaha tape deck. <laughs> a couple of old boom boxes up there. And here's a classic Sony tape deck. This is the uh, 333 ESG. Got a lovely wood finish to it. Also, while I was in the shop, I spotted this um, TIAC A23008 reel to reel. Thought about picking it up, but um, in the end didn't bother. And I also spotted this weird ass looking Sony record player radio all in one thing. <laughs> it's probably rubbish. But anyway, as I said, I was mainly here to uh, find a mini type of amplifier. And I had my eye on these two down here. So first we got this lovely pa Panasonic. Now um, just check out those uh, VU meters. Now they're sexy in it. Now those VU meters really did bring me to the machine. It's got a pretty decent twin tape deck as well with the, the nice Dolby NR on there. And a pretty good uh, CD player as well. And there was also this one, the Onkyo system. Now this one doesn't have the tape deck but it has a mini disc player instead. And it has a graphic equalizer which is something I really wanted. So which one of these two bad boys did I buy? Both pretty much the same price, about 5,000 yen. Yep, I went for the Onkyo. 
Yeah, it's a little bit dirty, but after the cleanup, you can see it's come out really well. And notice the mini this player is missing. I don't need it, so I'm going to sell that on. Got the old Technics turntable connected up to it as well. And I'm very happy with the whole package, to be honest. It's very neat around the back, and it sounds brilliant. In fact, it's, it sounds especially good through my nice Hi-Fi Man headphones. So all I gotta do now is get a decent pair of speakers for it and I'll have a pretty decent amp. For the price of 4,000 yen this was in total. Not bad at all.